Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. I am your trainer, Sridhar, and this is a brand new series on Angular 9 complete tutorial series. We will cover right from basics to advanced in this tutorial. If you are new to Angular 9 or if you are just coming from Angular 8, you will find these tutorials really helpful. In the first episode, I am going to cover about introduction and some background about Angular version history. Just a bit of background about me. My name is Sridhar Rao and I have over 10 plus years of experience as a full stack developer. I come with expert knowledge on latest modern tech stack in front end as well as back end engineering. I am here to share my knowledge with you and also to learn from all of you. During the course of this entire tutorial series, if you find yourself having any doubts, any technical queries, feel free to drop in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you as much as I can. Like I said, we are here to learn together. So let's get started and I will bring you the best Angular tutorials on at least whatever with the best of my knowledge. I will explain everything, code examples with clear explanations. I am putting in a hard of hard, lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials. So please do subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to like the video. Do subscribe so that you don't miss out on the entire series and you get all the tutorials into your inbox. Thank you so much in advance. Let's get started with the first thing about introduction and version history. So a quick overview about Angular framework. So what is Angular framework? Angular is a TypeScript based open source front end platform which is developed by Google and which makes easy to develop all the kind of web applications, mobile applications or desktop applications. The major features, some of the major features of this framework are declarative templates, dependency injection, unit testing, component based framework and much much more. We will learn all about it in the in, the, in this series. Uh, with hands-on practical examples. Angular is open source and is primarily maintained by Google. Now to give a quick some more extension of what we covered in the previous uh, slide. So Angular 9 uh, is the latest uh, version that is available in the market. Angular is a platform where you can build all the client-side front-end engineering applications which usually we do it in HTML CSS and JavaScript. Instead, we will be using a la language here called TypeScript. Very similar to JavaScript, except that it's a pure object-oriented based language. Angular itself is written in TypeScript language. Angular 9 is re was released on February 7th, 2020. Angular 9 natively supports IV Engine, which is one of the breakthrough um, feature I would say in Angular 9. We will learn all about that. Also, the entire build, build script is now in Bazel. Angular itself is compiled in Bazel. So we will learn how to do that, all of this in the tutorials that are coming up next. So Angular 9, like I said, is primarily developed and maintained by Google. So if you are, if you talk about some of the key features of Angular 9. So here are some of the top key features that uh, strikes out and uh, makes the Angular 9 very powerful. Angular 9 natively supports IV engine. There are, the builds are relatively smaller and which increases the speed and performance. The application itself is modular which makes it easy to maintain our Angular applications. All the Angular applications written are cross platform, so which means you can write for mobile, web, and desktop, keeping that in mind. Angular builds a single page application or SPS as we know it. Angular 9 is written in TypeScript, and we also write primarily everything in TypeScript. So let's talk a little bit background about Angular releases. So, Angular versions are released twice a year. So one will be a major release, which is done mostly in every six months. And minor releases are done in every one to three uh, 
one to three times in each every major release. But these are uh, little uh, minor patches or just bug fixes, but the major releases happen every six months. And then there are patches or uh, important fixes that go, which are usually a weekly or bi-weekly basis. So important thing to watch out when you build Angular applications is, whenever you develop applications, you need to upgrade yourself at least in every, every year, I would say, if not every six months in a major release. Most of these releases are backward compatible, which means that your application working on Angular 8 would even work on Angular 9. All right, so here are some of the history about uh, the Angular versions. So currently, as we, as we go and learn this tutorial on Angular 9, we are in Angular 9 uh, version. There's Angular 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 2. Remember, there is no Angular 3 because it was uh, renamed to 4 directly because the router, Angular router wasn't 4, uh, wasn't 3, sorry. So that's why. So after 4, you would see continuous series. Um, and most of these are additions and adding new features. So if you, um, so currently we will be developing entire this series on Angular 9. Uh, if you are coming from Angular 8, you will also learn how to upgrade your application to Angular 9. That being said, this is the first part. We come to the end of the first part. Um, the next upcoming, the next part is how to upgrade your Angular 8 applications. And then we will start actual work where we will develop everything from scratch. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting. Also, if you like this video, give a thumbs up to keep encouraging and supporting me. Thank you so much. See you in the next part, which is how to upgrade your Angular 8 applications to Angular 9. Thank you.